Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. Happy Sunday and happy January 12th. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying your playoffs, NFL playoffs, if you've been watching them the last couple of days. And today, since Rise of the Distance opens at Disneyland in uh, five days from today, exactly. Um, Friday, January 17th. So excited I should be there a week from today on Sunday, January 19th. But I want to explain how the virtual queue works. And uh, as I've decided to do another screen sharing video um, to convey the information because um, I feel like a lot of you like uh, last, um, like the last screen sharing video I did on the explaining the Disneyland ticket deal. So let's go and share the screen here and let's see how this works. So <laughs> for those. <laughs> For those of you going to that went to Galaxy's Galaxy's Edge already in Disneyland, you know how the virtual queue works. It basically works the same way. But Disney did a lovely blog post um, here that said, "Get Resistance ready for Star Wars: Rise of the Resistance on launching January 17th here at Disneyland Park," and it's basically going to work the same way as it worked for the uh, Disney World and working for uh, Galaxy's Edge to get in earlier this summer. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna definitely have to download the Disneyland mobile app. When you download the Disneyland mobile app, you're gonna go ahead and um, navigate up to um, the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge um, section, which I'll navigate right here on the app. It's right over here, and I'll you see that. You zoom in on these the two stars right here. You're gonna click the star, and it's gonna give you some options. They're not updated right now, but it will eventually say get a uh, rise of resistance uh, virtual queue. And you click it right there, and then you'll be able to uh, be in a boarding group for the virtual queue for rise of resistance. You don't officially need the app to do it, actually. There'll be kiosks where you can get paper fast virtual queue tickets, which are like the regular paper fast pass tickets, where you can go ahead and you go. Start your park ticket, and you'll get a rise of the rise of the resistance boarding group um, number or ticket. But by the time you do that, they may be out. So I feel like definitely getting the, the Disneyland app is the best option. Um, then going ahead and doing that process I just showed you, because January seventeenth will need the virtual the virtual queue for rise of resistance, and if it's anything in Disney World, it'll be over within thirty minutes or so of the park opening. So by 8.30 a.m. potentially, they'll be gone. There'll be lots of parking. The parking structure at 6.30 a.m. Uh, it opens, or yeah, it opens 90 minutes. Mickey and Friends opens 90 minutes before the official park opening, which is 8 a.m. You'll be, you can un uh, browse Main Street at 7 a.m. The rope drop is 8 a.m. And that's when you can go snag your virtual queue. That's when that's when the virtual queue will be open. They won't be open before then. It will be even if they let guests in early, it still won't be open earlier than 8 a.m. When the rope drops, then and the park's open, that's when the virtual queue will be open. You can get your boarding pass from the kiosk or the app. Once you have your boarding pass, it'll be on the app, and you'll have two hours, two hours from the time you're called. Um, so to get back to the attraction. So let's say you're in boarding groups 50 to 60, and uh, you're there on one. So you want to go to California Adventure. You want to do some other thing. You go ride some rides. They'll get you'll get a notification on the app. That's why another it's very important to get a notification on the app to get the app. You have two hours from the point of the notification to get back to the Rise of the Resistance, and that. Um, that's pretty much a pretty simple process. Um, when you get into the line itself, it shouldn't take more than 30 minutes, I'd say, to get through the whole attraction, the whole line, because the the way the capacity is, maybe at least the way that Disney World has been working in Hollywood Studios, you get in and it's about 20 minutes and get on to the actual ride itself, as they're doing the, the way the virtual queue has been working. The capacity isn't like they're not letting too many people in at one time, which is fantastic. You're allowed to go ahead and ride some other rides, come back and ride this ride. So that's basically how the virtual queue works here for Disneyland. 
um, whereas the resistance is opening on Friday. Let me know if you're going to be there. Are you going to be in the, um, for the opening? Let me know if you've been on the cast previews. Don't spoil anything for the people who haven't seen it, but let me know how you liked the ride. Although, also, I'll be there on Sunday, January 19th, so come say hi to me if, you, um, if you're there and you want to visit. If you're there and you see me, definitely say hello. And I'm super excited. Let me know how excited you are. Please give this video a big thumbs up as it really helps out this channel. And subscribe for more great theme park updates as well as a POV um, from Rise of the Resistance next week, uh, next weekend, and a general Disneyland construction update. So, uh, and as always, have a forceful day. And may the force be with you.